Hi, this is Mike from Mike's Unboxing Reviews and How To. And on today's video, we're going to discuss why you should update your AMD chipset drivers right now. Yes, right now. Pause the video, read the description below, update your chipset drivers. It's actually really important. Keep watching to find out why. Okay, so in today's video, we'll be talking about installing AMD chipset drivers and the reasons why you may want to do it right now. Currently, we are in a relatively smug position as AMD platform owners. A couple of years ago, and even last year, there were all those problems with Intel chips and uh, the basically the way they leaked information to the outside world. But we are not totally immune to it. So now the shoe is firmly on the other foot, and now it's our turn to uh, repair some of the damage from some of the original architecture from the AMD processors. Now, if you're watching this video and you're not sure if this affects you, there will be links in the video description to see which processors and platforms are actually affected. And to be honest with you, it's pretty much most of the AMD platform from the last 10 to 15 years. So we're looking as far back as some of the Athlon FX range, the Ryzen's and lots of the mobile desktop variants, etc., etc. Again, full links will be in the video description so you can see if your processor is actually affected. So what are AMD chipset drivers? So AMD chipset is something which is baked into your motherboard and works in tandem with your processor. Installing the chipset drivers gets the best features out of it. Most of you probably have to do it for things such as your power management, that kind of stuff. But there's other parts of it which are really important, such as the PSP driver, which some of you have probably never even seen or never even heard of before, but is actually very, very important. Now the PSP driver is actually AMD's platform security processor. So this is basically a means of working with the system and securing your information effectively. Now recently there has been an exploit which has allowed certain versions of the PSP driver to actually leak information of your saved passwords and all that kind of stuff out into the wild. And some people have actually managed to download gigabytes and gigabytes of data, which actually has all of your user data, etc, etc. So it is actually quite a problematic thing, but not to worry, it has been patched. So for those of you that are concerned, there are ways of actually patching it. The first of which is probably the easiest one, which is to actually do a Windows update. For certain versions of Windows, they've actually baked it into the Windows update because it is a high priority risk. So you may find that you've already updated already. There are ways you can find out, which we'll show you later on the computer. Other things you can do as well, you can obviously install the new AMD platform drivers and you can actually manually install the PSP driver itself also. I'll show you all of the ways of doing that in the video right now. So we'll be showing this today on a Windows 11 desktop, but the Windows 10 version will be very similar. So the first thing you want to do is to press the Windows key and X, and then hit Device Manager. Going into Device Manager, you can go down to Security Devices, and there you'll see it is AMD's PSP 11.0 device. Double click on that, and you can click on Driver, and you can see which driver version we've got. Now currently we're stuck on driver version 4.0. 16.00, which was released 17th of the 3rd, 2021. So this is an old one. We actually want to have the version of at least 5.17.00, which is the latest release. So if you want to, if you don't want to go through the whole hassle of installing all of the new chipset drivers, you can just click on update driver and update it from there. That's one way of doing it. Alternatively, you can go into Windows Update, so go into your settings cog, and then go into Windows Update, check for updates and see if it's actually available. I have checked it on here already, but I do check for updates on this particular version of Windows 11, which is a kind of beta version. It doesn't pick it up. So yeah, we're a little bit stuck there. Yeah, say you're up to date, which clearly we're not. So we do want to get ourselves patched. So in order to do that, we're going to download AMD's chipset drivers, which I'd certainly suggest you do. If you're just building a brand new system, it's worth doing that. And also worth checking every now and then just to see if there's any updates. So what we want to do is to go to AMD's website. So just go to amd.com. Then head over to drivers and support. You can, if you want to, you can just go down through and choose your chipset and do it that way. But probably the easiest way and the one I prefer to do is to do the auto detect and install updates. So click on download now, save it somewhere convenient. I'm going to save it to the desktop Then we can close this window and then we've got our installer on the desktop. So double click on the installer and you'll get the user account control come up saying Radeon Software Adrenaline 2020 ver edition. Obviously your uh, particular version may differ depending on when you're watching this video. Click on yes. 
and then we can start the installation process. So click on install and then just be patient while it extracts the files to your system. Then you should find the AMD software installer pops up and again, it will just check your PC's hardware and drivers and software compatibility. So just be patient while it does that. You may find it extracts some files whilst doing so. And then we'll go into AMD's chipset software installer. After a short while, you should find that the chipset drivers, which actually are available, will come up on the screen. So we've got the AMD Ryzen power plan. We've got the AMD GPIO driver. We've got the AMD PSP driver. So this is the important one. Again, this is going to be version 5.17.00. And if you hover your mouse over, it will tell you which version you're currently on. So this is to upgrade from 4.16.00. So I would suggest just click on install. Just be patient, let it go on and do its thing. Shouldn't take too long at all. If you've actually got an AMD graphics card installed, once it's done the chipset software installer, it will actually reboot and then do the graphics driver as well. So for those of you with Nvidia graphics cards or potentially Intel graphics cards, depending on when you're watching this, then you won't get that option. But if you have got AMD graphics card, that option will appear a little bit later on. When it gets to the end, it'll say the AMD chipset software is installed successfully, or at least hopefully it will. If it doesn't, then you can just reboot your system and then try to do the install again. Sometimes if there is a Windows update or some other program which has been installed previously, you may need to do a reboot for this to work correctly. But once you're happy, you can go ahead and click on restart. Once your PC is rebooted, you can go ahead and make sure that the driver is actually installed. So we'll do Windows key and X, choose device manager, go down to security devices, double click on the PSP device and click on driver again. And we can see now we've updated. So the driver date was from the 11th of the 6th, 2021. And we're now on driver version 5.17.00, which is the latest secure version. So we're all happy, everything is up to date. I would suggest every now and then just going in and running the installer just to see if there's any newer driver updates available. And obviously, if you're concerned about security, make sure you stay subscribed to the channel and we'll be posting videos on these security threats as they become known. So there we go, nice and straightforward, pretty easy to do and definitely worth doing. Sometimes you do actually find that as well as being security updates, there are also performance enhancements as well for these new drivers, so definitely worth doing. But for those of you that maybe have a daily driver, which you're using all the time, maybe you've got your credit card details, security passwords, and PayPal, that kind of stuff on there, you wanna keep it as secure as possible, so definitely update your drivers right now. So hopefully this video has been useful to you. If it has, don't forget to leave a thumbs up. And if you're new to the channel, don't forget to click on the subscribe button and the channel icon and you'll be notified of future video releases. So I've been Mike. This is Mike's Unboxing Reviews and How To. And hopefully we'll catch you in the very next video. Thanks for watching.